We've just gotten our hands on leaked data about Tesla's Model 2 batteries, and it's the kind of insider information Elon might not want you to see. Is Tesla really about to revolutionize the $25,000 Model 2 with not one, but two cutting-edge battery technologies? Aluminum ion or sodium ion, which one will give you the longest range, fastest charging, and safest ride? And what does this mean for your daily drive in the city or on a road trip? Stick around as we break down the leaked specs, performance rumors, and real-world implications for both aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries. By the end of this video, you'll know which battery could define the future of Tesla's most affordable EV. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, the channel that delivers Tesla news and analysis you won't find anywhere else. Fast, precise, and focused on what really matters to drivers like you. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and tap the bell. Help us hit 9,999 subscribers today and join the insiders following every Tesla move before anyone else. What makes aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries contenders for the 2026 Tesla Model 2? Tesla is reportedly testing two radically different battery technologies for its upcoming $25,000 Model 2, and early leaked data gives us a glimpse into their potential performance. The aluminum ion battery, a next-gen development by Tesla engineers, promises ultra-fast charging that could replenish 80% of its capacity in as little as 10 minutes, far outpacing the fastest lithium-ion packs currently on the market which typically require 30 to 40 minutes. Laboratory estimates suggest a single ally-on pack could deliver up to 1,000 miles of range per charge, translating to roughly 1.5 times the distance of today's standard Tesla Model 3 long-range battery. Its projected lifespan is astonishing, with internal leaks pointing to 27 years of usable life, or over 10,000 full charge cycles, a level of durability no mass-market EV has yet achieved. Safety is another critical advantage. Crash test simulations indicate that punctured ion cells rarely exceed 120 degrees Celsius and do not enter thermal runaway, drastically reducing fire risk compared to conventional lithium packs, which can reach 500 to 600 degrees Celsius in similar scenarios. The trade-offs are clear. Aluminum ion has lower volumetric energy density than lithium, requiring a slightly larger pack to match comparable range, and production costs remain high due to exotic aluminum-titanium alloys and precision assembly. Meanwhile, Tesla is also experimenting with sodium ion batteries, positioning them as a cost-effective solution for mass-market adoption. Sodium ion packs rely on abundant, low-cost sodium enabling production at a fraction of the cost of lithium or aluminum ion cells. Energy density is moderate, roughly 160 to 180 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram for typical lithium ion, and estimated 220 watt-hours per kilogram for allion, making them adequate for daily city driving or regional commutes but less suited for extended trips without frequent charging. Charging speed is slower. Current lab reports from GMG of Australia and BTRL4 indicate a full charge could take 60 to 90 minutes under standard DC fast charging conditions. Life cycle projections show roughly 3,000 to 5,000 full cycles before noticeable capacity loss, far below aluminum ion, but comparable to entry-level lithium ion packs. While sodium ion cannot match ally-on in longevity or rapid charging performance, its low cost and material availability make it an appealing choice for Tesla if the goal is to produce tens of thousands of Model 2 units at a $25,000 price point. Which battery would you pick for your Tesla Model 2? Comment 1 if you would choose aluminum ion. Comment 2 if you would go with sodium ion. Or are you thinking about another option? Share your reasons in the comments. Do you value speed, range, and durability more? Or affordability and convenience? How do aluminum ion and sodium ion compare directly for the 2026 Tesla Model 2? Looking beyond basic specifications, 
Aluminum ion batteries stand out for their long-term efficiency under sustained high loads. Internal Tesla leaks suggest that after extensive highway driving at 120 km per hour, over distances exceeding 400,000 km, Allion packs retain over 85% of their initial discharge efficiency, demonstrating remarkable consistency even in extreme conditions. Sodium ion packs, by contrast, begin to show gradual capacity fade under continuous high temperature operation, particularly during summer or extended high speed use, although performance remains adequate for typical daily commuting. In terms of real world application, aluminum ion is engineered for drivers who rely on their Model 2 for frequent intercity trips or multi day journeys, where ultra fast charging and consistent long term output can significantly reduce travel downtime. Sodium ion, with its simpler thermal management needs and lower cost, is more suited to urban driving, short routes, and frequent stop and go patterns, where rapid recharge is less critical. The driving experience further highlights the differences. Vehicles equipped with aluminum ion maintain steady power delivery at near maximum output even when energy reserves fall below 20%, ensuring predictable acceleration on highways and steep inclines. Sodium ion vehicles may experience a slight reduction in peak performance as the battery discharges, potentially limiting acceleration by an estimated 10 to 15% but they make up for it with affordability and accessibility, enabling more buyers to enter the EV market. From a maintenance perspective, aluminum ion packs reduce service frequency due to their structural resilience, allowing Tesla to extend intervals between software recalibration and thermal system checks. Sodium ion packs, while easier to replace and scale for mass production, will likely require mid-term battery replacements after roughly 3,000 to 5,000 full cycles, creating modest ongoing maintenance costs for owners. Environmental and logistics factors continue to differentiate the two. Aluminum ion production demands precision assembly and higher energy input due to complex alloy components, limiting large-scale manufacturing speed. Sodium ion leverages the abundant availability of sodium, simpler assembly, and lower energy requirements, making it more feasible for Tesla to rapidly expand production to meet projected Model 2 demand in urban markets. What could the future hold for the Tesla Model 2? Looking ahead, the 2026 Tesla Model 2 aims to balance affordability and innovation. For Tesla, Sodium Ion offers a clear path to high volume production, enabling assembly of tens of thousands of units per month while keeping the vehicle price at $25,000. Aluminum ion, although costlier, could allow Tesla to market a Model 2 variant with higher energy efficiency under variable loads, improved thermal tolerance in extreme climates, and reduced degradation over a decade of daily use. Leaked internal projections show that Tesla is running large-scale endurance and climate simulations for both battery types including rapid cycle charging in sub-zero conditions and extended high-speed highway drives, suggesting the company is assessing long-term reliability and user satisfaction beyond base range and charge speed. While the final decision is still pending, these leaks highlight Tesla's strategic approach. Sodium ion could dominate urban-focused deliveries, whereas aluminum ion may serve as a premium option for buyers seeking maximum durability and safety. This dual path testing indicates that Tesla is serious about refining battery selection to match different driving profiles, production timelines, and market segments. For Model 2 buyers, the takeaway is clear. Whether Tesla goes with the cost-efficient sodium ion or the long-term resilient aluminum ion, the company is committed to delivering a vehicle that meets the practical needs of both everyday commuters and frequent long-distance travelers. In the end, the Tesla Model 2's battery choice could redefine what a $25,000 EV can offer. Will Tesla go with the cost-effective sodium ion to reach more urban drivers, or the high-performance aluminum ion to deliver unmatched durability and safety? We don't know the final decision yet. But the leaked data makes one thing clear. Tesla is taking both options seriously and running extensive tests before committing.
Which battery would you choose for your daily drive or weekend road trips? Do you prioritize affordability or long-term performance? Could aluminum ion make a $25,000 EV feel like a premium experience? If you found this breakdown useful, make sure to hit like, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and tap the bell so you won't miss our next insider updates. Help us reach 8,999 subscribers today and join the community that follows every Tesla move before anyone else.